learning outcome number four franchising franchise means is a it is a continuing it is a relationship in which franchiser grants to a franchisee the business rights to operate or sell their products in franchising number one is franchiser the originator of the trade name product methods of operation and so on that grants operating rights to another party to sell its product so franchiser ni kita panggil sebagai the owner of the business okay examples like Johor Corporation is the franchiser for the product of KFC number two is franchisee an individual or business that is granted by the franchiser to sell another party's product by paying the franchiser for the right to use the name products and methods so franchisee tu adalah the individual of the business itself that actually run the franchise by the by by using the names of the franchiser there are there are two basic forms of franchising based on product and trade name franchise or a business format franchise they are product or a trade name franchise these types of franchise system involve the franchisee acquires the sales right which includes the trade name the trademark product from the franchisor upon upon the signing of the so-called dealer, dealership contract example is like the coca-cola which is in malaysia it is was it is produced by the fnn so F fnn has the the rights to produce coke in malaysia number two business format franchise this franchise system is also named as a full fledged franchise the franchisee is granted the right to manufacture and market the franchisor products which is in total in terms of marketing strategies the promotional activities the operational activities the premise and setting of the layout and etc examples of business format franchise is like the kfc mcdonald's and pizza hut those are a fast food retailer in malaysia there are there are a few advantages of franchising as compared to the independent retailer one good thing about franchise is that you own a business which is has popular you own a business that already established in the local markets examples like tea life maybe maybe with some amount of capital around 200 to 300000 you can open your own uh, tea life kiosk and there's no problem of customers because i think most malaysian knew about the tea life products so i think that's the good things about franchise which is you already have your own market so no need for you to find customers because the customer is already there in the market and with that we have uh, finished chapter 8 uh, retailing selamat menyambut um, idol fitri um, maaf zahir dan batin um, be safe and have a good uh, hari raya celebration make sure that take care of yourself and semoga segala dan semua urusan kita ni lah dipermudahkan amin um, see you again next time insyaAllah bye